Hey guys, welcome to what we're calling our midweek minute. Just to take a few minutes out of your day, uh, once a week, uh, usually on Wednesdays it'll probably be. Uh, so it kind of updates you about uh, things going on at Boulder First United Methodist Church. Uh, maybe uh, it'll be a word of encouragement, maybe it'll be a uh, scripture, uh, just something we can do. So we're connecting with one another uh, in the middle of the week we're, because we're not able to connect as we once did uh, on a regular basis. So uh, today, what I wanted to do, I've got a, a few things on my, my list here for us. And the first is a question. How are you doing uh, in uh, applying what you learned this past Sunday in worship. Uh, last Sunday in worship, we talked about uh, Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. And Philippians chapter 4, verse 8 says this, Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. And we talked about how uh, it's, it's helpful for us to take time out of our day, out of our week, to, to think about these things because there's so much negativity around us. And this kind of reorients us. And we also talked about the fact that, that this list is not just a list of stuff and things. It's a list of attributes. Uh, and uh, those attributes are the attributes of Jesus Christ. And so how are you taking intentional time this week uh, to make sure you're spending time with Jesus? That's what I want to know. What are you doing to do that? Are you taking time in the morning? Are you taking some time in the evening to pray, to, to soak in, to abide? You know, John uh, chapter uh, 15 talks about Jesus abiding, that, you know, I am the vine, you are the branches. Uh, and uh, it's a great passage of scripture that uh, you ought to read. How are you abiding in Christ this week? Um, so I wanted to ask you about that um, and then offer you an opportunity for how you can do that. Uh, Jesus is, uh, is the Word made flesh, it says in John's Gospel. And uh, so one way to abide in Jesus, one way to think about Jesus, one way to dwell in Jesus, be intentional about that, is to spend time in God's Word. So I want to challenge you. We put this out on Facebook the uh, last couple of days, and I want to challenge you to join us in this. Uh, we are doing a nine, New Testament in 90 days, starting August 1st. And we're asking people to sign up to do this. Right now we have 15, 16 participants who, who are going to be joining me and Pastor Tammy and who have committed for, for 90 days, so August, September, October, to read through the entire New Testament. Not the whole Bible, just the New Testament, starting with Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, Acts, Romans, 1 Corinthians, and you go on all the way to the end of the Revelation. So the, the, there, is a, there is a reading plan to go along with this, and you can get that by going to our Facebook page, uh, Bullard FUMC, search that up. Uh, there is a, uh, a link there that talks about, now there's two different ones I've, I've posted about this. Uh, one is the main one you want to look for, which because it sends you to a Google form to give us your email address and your uh, your email address and your name. So you, that, that's how you get signed up. And then if, when you do that, there's a link to this, a PDF of this that you can print off on your home computer. Uh, I also put up there uh, yesterday, I think it was, um, you can use your phone. If you have the U version of the Bible on your phone, uh, they have Bible reading plans there. And you can just follow there. And there was one called New Testament in 90 Days. You can follow that one as well. So great way to apply the scripture. Uh, to be dwelling, uh, pondering, thinking, uh, meditating on Jesus uh, by reading uh, the New Testament with us. So I hope you'll do that. I hope you'll sign up for that. I uh, wanted to give you also a quick update on um, guidelines, where we are as a church, uh, as far as our guidelines, protocols, whatever you want to call them, with worship. Right now, we are continuing with our updated guidelines as we last posted them. Uh, because things really haven't changed all that much in Smith County and the surrounding areas. Yes, Texas has seen a slight decline in the numbers, but it still hasn't declined enough for us to feel comfortable uh, loosening up on some of our guidelines. So what that means is we're currently not doing Sunday school in our normal way during the Sunday school hour. We will continue to do videos for those classes that do videos. We'll still have classes that do Zoom uh, for their Sunday school classes as well. And we do have, as per the update, um, Harper Hall is available. If groups want to reserve that, they'll have to abide by the, the guidelines where we strongly urge the use of masks and they'll have to have hand sanitize coming and going. They'll have to have practice social distancing within that space. Uh, we're really not doing food stuff 
too much right now. But um, if if you have a, if you're uh, if you have a you know wedding shower that wants to be in there, you can do that. Just kind of space out. Um, if you have different things like that, Bible study, small groups. We've got AA meets in there, uh, and and social distances. We've got a Bible, a couple Bible studies that do that sort of thing. So please know uh, that that is available. You just need to make sure you reserve it, uh, and you can do that by contacting the church office and talking to our church secretary, Venus. So there is that. So we're going to continue with worship uh, online and in person at 9 and 11, both in the sanctuary uh, at this time. Now, uh, one other update I want to give you is uh, an update on our buildings. As you all know, about a month a month and a half ago, I guess it was, we had some storm damage, and, uh, and so some things... Uh, got torn up the tree the tree in the courtyard got damaged really significantly i had to take down another tree in the uh uh little playground area over there uh, by the family life center well um we have been having to deal with insurance and go through that process and it takes a long time but we are now getting to the point where you're going to start seeing some activity around the church in terms of our buildings in terms of the tree uh, the large tree is coming down we sent out a letter to the congregation about that uh, we uh, very sad to see that go. That tree has a lot of history, and and uh, but we're gonna uh, that's gonna come down soon. And if you need to more know more information about that, check your email because we send an email to everybody about what the plans are once that tree's gone and so forth. But after that tree's down, they're gonna start to uh, work on the roofs around the courtyard. Uh, so that's one project that should be starting up pretty soon in the next few weeks. And then also uh, the company that's gonna come redo the roofs in the Family Life Center is gonna start here in a week or two. Uh, so we can get back in the Family Life Center. Right now the Family Life Center is shut down. We're not meeting there at all for anything because um, we had to clear everything out of it and it's all stored in the front section. Um, and so we don't have anybody meeting in there. Um, one other project I want you to know about that's going to ha be happening at some point in the next few weeks as well is uh, we're going to be taking the steeple off of the church and uh, repairing the roof underneath it. There's been some, some water damage that's happened around that. Uh, hopefully we're going to get the steeple cleaned up uh, get the roof repaired and then get the steeple properly placed uh, the way it's supposed to be sealed and everything uh, on top of the sanctuary. So uh, be looking for that uh, to happen as well. So a lot of things happening. Um, even in the midst of COVID-19, God is still good. Uh, the people of God are still worshiping uh, and uh, ministry is still happening. So this has been your mid uh, your midweek minute, if you will. Actually, it's been about uh, almost eight minutes. So Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. Uh, oh, actually, hopefully we'll see you on Sunday. If not, uh, join us online, 9 and 11 a.m. Facebook Live. Uh, of course, services are recorded on YouTube. If you want to follow on there, you can do that as well. Take care. God bless.